China is ramping up measures at its borders after a spike in infections coming from abroad. One Chinese city near Russia has reported 194 imported cases and over 120 asymptomatic ones. It has put all residential communities on lockdown. And across the border, Russia has reported more than 2,000 new cases, bringing its total tally to over 15,000. China temporarily closed all land crossings with Russia on Wednesday. And our correspondent Dan Ashley tells us how the closure is affecting lives at the borders. A, a huge impact on trade. Uh, earlier in this pandemic, uh, Russian authorities estimated that Russia alone might be losing $15 million a day from the lost trade. Uh, and that was before we had huge lockdowns, we had less migration, less movement. And of course, now we have uh, China closing the land border as well. So uh, this all started when Russia first closed its side of the land border, or at least much of it, and really started to hone in on Chinese migrants. Now we have, uh, ironically, the same happening the other way around as, as China fears an influx uh, of Chinese people or Russian people coming across the border the other way. So the border very much remains closed, but there has been this way through for many weeks uh, in northeast China near Vladivostok in Russia, where hundreds of people have seemingly flown from Moscow right across many time zones, halfway across the world to Vladivostok and try to make the journey, uh, a 26 hour journey, back into China. Now that entry point has been closed as well. It means that Chinese people in Russia look like they're stuck in Russia uh, and all that trade, all that exchange of people has stopped completely.